Hello, it's Aga from Arby's Artist. Today I decided to check out how much 3ds Max 2022 updates speed up the workflow. To have a comparison, I modeled the same interior I've shown you in one of my previous videos. Okay, let's check it. It's my first time with this method, so I'm really curious how it goes. Let's see. In the file, I have a plan and a section of the interior we'll be modeling. This time, I start from creating a box in this corner. I have snaps on, so I can snap to the vertices. Let's convert it to the detable poly. By clicking one on the keyboard, I'm in the vertex selection. Snap them to the bottom of the window, as this is the lowest part here. And now, we'll start working with this new magical smart extrude option. So the only thing I'm doing here is selecting polygons, holding shift and moving the mouse forward. There is not too much to talk about here. Simple steps. I'm selecting poly, moving with shift and snapping to the correct vertex. Now we don't have to bridge the polys. We just select the poly and move it forward with shift. Here we go. And let's continue with the same method. Now let's say we made a mistake and we wanted a slightly different division. Not a problem. Let me show you the easy fix. We can select poly, move it down with shift and we have a hole with side scout. Now we can select the poly again and use smart extrude and snap to the vertex. And next, to bridge the polys the same as we've done before. You can see that everything works great. Awesome, let's continue. I need to say that this is a pretty cool option. I know that some of you have commented on my previous video about the 3ds Max 2022 update that this option is a copy from SketchUp. But for 3ds Max users, it's an awesome improvement. It's similar to a light mix in V-Ray. You can say that this is a copy from Corona, but it doesn't really matter for V-Ray users as they were happy to finally get the biggest advantage of Corona in their favorite render engine. The same here, it's better to get it now than never, isn't it? By the way, at this moment I don't really model too much, but for 3D modelers, this option needs to be a, such a time saver. Okay. Let's build the last part of the wall. Beautiful. We're done with the base. Now, let's use the by angle option to select all top polys. Great. And now with shift, move it up to the top part of the balcony window. And then again, to the highest level of the section. Great. Now we need to do window and door openings, and this will be a true time saver. Let me show you. Let's turn off the biangle option, select polygons, and with shift, move it forward. And we have a balcony door opening. The same here, and we have window opening. And again, the balcony door opened. That's it. So simple and fast. We don't have to delete, use connect and bridge options, etc. It's done. All needed openings in around 30 seconds. Awesome. Okay, now let's do the ceiling. Hmm, maybe select top polys again and let's delete them. I try cap. We'll see if the connection are needed. Maybe not. So let's select border and I use the cap option. Great, 
it's done. Let's apply the chamfer modifier and let's see if this is enough. I apply a modifier. Let's change it to smooth chamfers only. We can adjust some values. I hide the plan as it's not needed now. It looks good, so I won't be worried about connections on the ceiling. And it's basically it. Much faster. There is one more thing I would like to show you. I go back a couple of steps so it's easier for you to understand what is going on. Instead of using boolean, we can easily make a different shape holes from the level of the editable poly. So we can attach the object to the editable poly. Move a polygon with shift to connect them. And then select another poly and move with shift to cut this object out. Cool, isn't it? The same if you would like doors here. We can create a box with the correct dimensions. Attach to the main object. Move the polygons with shift to connect the objects. And again, move the polygon forward with shift to create a hole. I really like this smart extrude feature. It really speed ups the workflow. Let me know in the comments your thoughts and if you like this method of modeling. Thanks for watching. Also, don't forget to like this video if you found this interesting, share it, subscribe and do all these wonderful things. See you guys in the next video.